Hey guys, Andy Vidoe from Atri Real Estate. We're here at 90 Castlewood Parkway in Southern River, um, which is one of the, the main sort of streets that run around the lake area. Uh, this one is sort of really quite nice, sort of tucked away a little bit from the lake itself. Um, as you can see, just around um, from the front there, you've got a lot of like bushlands, walk through lands and stuff like that. Um, there is also a little bit of a, a gym, sort of public gym area out the front as well, which is quite nice just down the road. Um, so yeah, come on through, let's have a look. Um, basically what we've got, as you can see, there's all aggregate um, flooring throughout the throughout here. Um, also a lot of extra space here for extra parking, etc. Um, also there is uh, the electric gates, which you can see run across the front there. Um, so quite private and quite protected, this front space as well. Um, you've also got a double garage. Um, and as you see, when we first came in, the balcony up the top and, and you know, quite a nice sort of looking frontage on, on the home as well. So come on through. Um, as you'll see as we go through, there is a few little security cameras around as well, so very secure from that perspective. Um, the door, uh, once again, it's just one of those big big doors that sort of open up, big big single door. So come on in, have a look. Um, once again, this home is, is beautiful. There's, um, there's probably too many features for me to actually go through and list, but um, if you have a look, at, you'll see quite a bit of detail in here. Um, so as you can see, um, basically the, um, you know, Quite good quality tiles sort of running through the home with a bit of feature, nice neutral colours. Uh, we'll go into this room first. Um, now technically, it's a fifth bedroom um, or could be a study office depending on what you wanted to do. Obviously, the, um, the owner, current owner is um, doing a bit of work from here um, as a hairdresser and so on. So even if, you've got, if you're doing nails or beauty salon or whatever, um, you could do something in here from that perspective. Um, it also has three bathrooms, um, this being one of them, which has basically just got Obviously, your, your sink and your toilet here. So if you are working from, from home or you're doing something there, that you, you know, clients can come through there. But at the same time as well, if you're using it as a bedroom, you've got that, that there as well. So let's, um, let's head on through. Um, once again, you see even just the light switches around, all really nice quality stuff put through. So there's, no, um, there's been no short, um, as I say, taking shortcuts with, with the quality that's sort of throughout the home. So come and have a look. Um, just a bit around here, um, there is a little study area um, and also um, like a cloak closet or um, whatever you want to call that at, right at the front here, which is quite nice. Um, there is a door here as well, which I'll sort of explain this and it'll make more sense once I go through the rest of the home um, that runs through that you can come straight to this space as well. So, um, But for now, we'll, we'll walk through, through here. Um, as we come through, uh, it, once again, the hallway continues on. You can shut that main front off. Um, but the hallway continues on through here. Um, as we pop off to the right, we have got the double garage. Um, quite high, as you can see, it's quite high ceiling. So if you've got four wheel drives with roof racks and things like that, no problems getting them in. Um, also, there is a single roller door at the back there. So if you wanted to bring stuff through there, you can do that as well. You've got that access. Um, and as you can see through here as well, um, the property has got solar panels as well, which is always a good one at the moment. So yeah come through. Um, even the, the roller door itself, just those little panelled windows at the top. Um, I find that's nice during the daytime as well because it just lets that natural light into the garage without actually um, having to turn lights on and stuff while you're coming into the garage during the day. So come on through. Um, actually, we'll go upstairs first. Um, so master bedroom upstairs with like a um, sitting area. So it's really sort of just a, a separate little space that you can, um, can use. So come on up. Um, as you'll see, once again, quality tiles all up the staircase um, and just a little sort of night light, I suppose I'd call it, um, that just runs up the side of the staircase, which would, you know, as well as being very functional, looks nice as well. All right. So as you get um, to the top of the stairs, there's this space through here, um, which is really... Um, I suppose a, a parent's retreat or a sitting room for off the master bedroom. Um, there is also up here a little, um, you know, kitchenette, if you want to call it that, with a little fridge um, and a bit of storage through there, um, a little cutout for your TV and, and couch. Um, but also, if you have a look, um, all these, you'll see all these throughout the home as well. They're like a plantation shutter, but they're, they're like, a, they're an aluminium. So from a perspective of, you know, wear and tear, really good. Um, but it's got that plantation shutter feel as well to it. Um, we'll go out in the balcony for a second. So this is really nice sort of spot through here as well. And it'll give you an idea of what's across the road too. So you can come out here. 
Um, obviously, as you go around the corner, that's where the lake is through there. Um, and then, as I say, you've got the you know, kids' playground up, up through the side there. Um, and all that bush forever, so that's you're not going to get built out with, with homes and stuff like that. You're always going to have that nice view through there. Yeah. Um, and even off that side, you can see there's like um, you get a sort of glimpse of the hills and stuff like that as well from that end. So that's quite nice. Um, you'll see when we go into the master bedroom as well, there is a sliding door in that corner, um, so you can access that from the master bedroom as well. Um, but we'll head through, I'll show you some. So this is the master bedroom. As you can see, the whole home right throughout is all 31 core ceilings as well. Um, so nice high ceilings and a lot of homes you'll see it just in the main living areas, but this is right throughout. Um, once again, these shutters, uh, aluminium plan, plantation shutters right through everywhere. Uh, there is that sliding door straight out onto the balcony as well, which is nice. Um, but from your, your bed, you've still got, you know, full window access out to, or views out to the park, etc. So they've really thought about that nicely. Um, and I love the, um, some people into it, some people not so much, but it's all really good and there's all really good quality like the feature wall with the wallpapers and stuff, it's quite nice. Um, as we go into the ensuite bathroom, once again you'll see that the, the quality is, is at top end. Um, ultimately you've got all these tiles, tiled right to the ceiling, um, through the floor, right through to the little drain plugs and stuff like that that are all um, tied into the tile scheme as well. Double vanities, um, basically, um, you know, plenty of cupboard space. As you can see through there, all stone tops, um, nice big bath with your plantation shutters following through there as well. Um, you do have your, your toilet also with the privacy door on there as well. Um, shower, screenless, um, basically just you've got your, your rain shower head through there as well as your handheld shower through there. So really nice modern sort of feel through here. Come on through. The... Um, walk-in robe, which is true walk-in robe, um, goes, you know, there's quite long through this side and then runs right the way to the other side as well. Um, there is a window there, lets in that bit of natural light um, and plenty of um, obviously drawers um, to, and they're all soft clothes and stuff like that. So really, really nice once again. Well, we'll head on, head on through. Um, we'll go, we've got a nice TV mounted up on the wall here, so that works pretty good. Um, yeah, come on through. Um, we've also got reverse cycle air conditioning right the way through as well. Um, beautiful sort of light fittings. Um, you can see everything's been done done really nice and properly through there. Okay, so this is one of the first of the minor bedrooms. Um, once again, you can see huge bed in here um, if you have a look at the wall they're full you know four four full length mirrored robes so plenty of robe space here followed through with the same window treatments um, and sort of your little down lights reverse cycle air conditioning through there um, and once again as i said got your high ceilings everywhere and good quality sort of light fittings etc um, before we're heading to the main living area we'll just come down this way so once again you've got a powder room here uh, which is basically your sink, your toilet there with privacy door. Um, and then we'll head through to here's one of the minor bedrooms as well. Um, you can see through here. And I don't know if you can get the concept of size here, but it's they're big rooms with, you know, obviously big double robes built in. Um, once again, you've got all these shutters throughout and good quality sort of helmet sort of block out blinds through there as well. Um, and once again, that 31 course um, and a nice bit of very subtle, but um, very nice sort of featured wallpaper there as well. Right. Um, we'll head up this way. This is um, I suppose what we call a common bathroom. Um, so once again, uh, quality hasn't been spared here. You've got tiles and good quality tiles uh, right up to the ceilings. Um, you've got your down lights, um, double vanities, um, stone on the top there, um, plenty of cupboards, glass shower screens. Um, yeah, so it's all, all nice and finished properly. Now we'll head up this way. So this is the last of the minor bedrooms. Um, so you can see through here, um, got to set up as a little workspace at the moment and obviously smaller children. But um, yeah, once again, good size bedroom. You've got those mirrored robes through there, aluminium plantation shutters, 
and also um, your full block out quality curtains there as well. Um, and just little things like all, the whole home is, um, you know, skirting boards throughout as well. Um, actually, just before we take off, I'm going to show you this door. So we'll go back here. This basically takes us just back through to the main entrance and, and, and that sort of thing. So once again, if you've got people in that front room or whatever and you want them to come through and use that bathroom, it's easier for them to do that than walk through the middle of the home to, to access that. So that is very functional and works very well. All right. We were going to head into the, um, the kitchen area and the main living, um, which is really nice. All right. So once again, if we swing around, you can see through here we've got a bit of feature on the wall here which is really nice it's got a bit of texture to it as well which is great um, once again 31 core ceilings you've got that same theme of the the um, shutters running right the way through the home um, and as you see this room is very big sort of from a living perspective through here and then you've got basically your dining um, and what I like as well is just the full big windows as well the outlook onto everything um, so just really brings the outside in and inside out, that sort of thing. Um, as we go through, we've got the kitchen, so full stone bench tops, your double sinks, which are inlaid under the stone. Um, you've got cupboards, but you've also you've got a lot of drawers running through as well, and all these drawers are soft clothes. Um, and even just little things like, if you have a look at that, it's got that in there as well. Um, so the space has been used really well. Uh, the thing I like about the drawers is you, when you open a cupboard and you're trying to get to the back of the cupboard, it's always you're always hard and you know you can't see things properly where with a drawer it's just nice to be able to get to the back of that and and be able to go in there so um, i don't know why more kitchens don't do this because it's, it's definitely the way to go um, the other thing it does have integrated um, is obviously dishwasher um, integrated into the, the cupboards as well um, there's a microwave recess um, also your induction cooktops nice wide oven through there so that's 900 and um, lots of overhead cupboards as well um, it looks like they've got a little sort of almost a bar sort of set up through there as well but you could use it for whatever whatever you wanted um, full walk-in pantry so once again plenty of room in here lots of shelving uh, you've also got uh, your drawers through here um, and then there's a, an appliance cupboard as well with the roll down shut so you know whether your kettle or your toasters or whatever you want through there you can do that um, and then we'll head out to the laundry so you've got your laundry which runs off the kitchen once again, a lot of homes I see nice homes and they sort of cut the corners in the laundry. Um, this one, basically stone bench tops, good quality cupboards, um, you know, beautiful tiles splash back through there as well. Plenty of cupboards and storage through there. Um, and also this huge linen press, so or linen cupboard. So as you can see, I'm right in here. Plenty of room, plenty of storage um, through there. Uh, this door here, being glass door, also has a pet door on it. Um, but um, obviously, if you want to hang your clothes out, etc., it'll probably happen out that side. But let's go and have a look at the backyard. A um, lot to offer out here. With these um, doors through here, they're all they're glass, so it's nice you can see through them, but they're all bifold as well. So you can open this space up, and you've basically got your kitchen um, and entertainment area all opened out to one, which is really, really cool. Let's go out and have a look. One of the things I noticed when I first came to this home, which was really sort of, it was a little thing, but it was, it was for me, it was really nice, um, was just the, the fresco, if you want to call it that, the, just the line of the roof, how it sort of goes from a lower space up to, up to the higher space, um, which just gives it that really nice bit of character to it as well. Um, you will see also um, built-in speakers, so you've got sound out here. Uh, a very well protected wall mounted tv through there as well um, all the decking around here is the eco deck as well so once again very low maintenance easy care um, it's not like your traditional wood that you've got to maintain all the time um, and the color sort of goes in nicely with the color scheme as well um, you've also got your basically your built-in um, barbecue area a um, couple of fridges your barbecue and once again they've you know haven't skimmed they put the stone out here as well so that's really nice um, with the pool area, you can see once again, it's all glass, uh, frameless glass, uh, which basically is nice because it just sort of doesn't, doesn't block anything or make, make the space feel small or anything. It just really actually opens it up, which is really nice. We'll go through and have a look. Come on. Ooh. Freaky, freaky. 
All right, so basically you've got your pull through here. You do have a, a water feature there as well, just one of the blade ones where the water sort of runs out. Um, and also because of the, you can see the back wall, there's sort of the limestone on top and the fence on top. So it really creates a high fence through there, which gives you a lot of privacy from, from your neighbours behind. Um, yeah, so nice pool. Once again, you got aggregate through there. Uh, the capping on the pool really nicely finished. With, you can see that cobblestone effect um, running as a border around it. Um, eco deck through here as well. Um, and once again at night, this would be spectacular. You've got all your little um, lights in the deck, um, as well as your pool lights and stuff like that. Could, so you can imagine what this place looks like at night time, yeah? Um, come through. You've also got your um, African reed or African style um, pergola there, which is, is really nice. This reading stuff. I know I've seen a lot of the, the thatching ones, which is the, like the uh, Balinese or Indian Asian thatch, which tends to uh, deteriorate very quickly. Uh, well, this is your, your African reed, which basically is a lot hardier. It's going to last you a lot longer as well, so pretty hard to destroy that one. Um, and then just this nice space here. Um, also, these things, rather than the sort of colour bonds and stuff like that, um, from what I've heard, they're maybe about 15 degrees or, you know, 10 degrees cooler than if you had a, a patio in, in full heat. Yeah, so that's nice as well. Um, uh, and then basically you just got the down this side of the home um, you've got that security pool fencing as well um, but on the other side of that you can see that's where the roller door was for the garage so if you if you've got anything you want to bring through there even you know motorbikes whatever you could bring a couple of bikes through there that would work quite nicely as well um, and even just these little things like that just the feature of, of those just the whole house has just got a really nice feel about it um, yeah so we'll head back in this way So uh, yeah, so that's pretty much 90 Castlewood Parkway in Southern River. Um, if this home looks like something that may suit you or you want to have a chat about it, please feel free to contact me. I'm happy to have a chat. Look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.